hi everyone and welcome back so this is the second last video of this series and uh, here we are going to talk about uh, nest.js microservices and we are going to talk about emqp uh, protocol so in the last video we talked about simple two services talking to one another using tcp protocol here we are going to have one uh, two microservices one is a microservice server another another is microservice client and they are going to talk to each other on the emqp protocol so what i did is i created this docker compose for this sim simple setup of rabbitmq so when you do the docker compose up we will be running uh, this container you can see this is the docker compose and here we are going to talk about uh, simple uh, microservices like same as the last video we also talked about one server and the one client nothing much has changed from that service the only thing here is instead of tcp we are going to do the communication on the emqp so this is the microservice app i mean i haven't written any fancy code here it's a very basic bare bone application here you can see in the main.ts this is my basic setup looks like right so here i have created a microservice which is going to which is going to use rmqp sorry rmq protocol and going to be I mean that is a transport and EMQP is the protocol. So this is my connection URL for the RabbitMQ. EMQP username, password, host port, and your virtual host name, and the queue name to which you will be posting to which uh, this particular service is listening to. So this is a this is like a queue. So somebody will be posting here, and this particular service is listening the messages, right? So we have created a client. Client is simple. What it is doing is uh, in the app module.ts you can see this client uh, here this is the client so it is registering to a particular service because client will register to a service uh, which we already know so like we have already created a server side uh, logic I mean service 2 which is actually listening to the AMQP to the rabbit MQ so this is the client this is going to listen this is going to connect to that second microservice so the name is hello service transport is emqp so rmq and the options these options are the helpers like uh, this is going to give more information about the service okay this is the url to which we are going to connect because the transport is rmq we need options options which will contain the url which will show the connection string the queue name all these things so this is our microservice client and it is going to post a message to this particular uh, connection of a rabbit mq and if you see in the controller we have simple http get it is connecting to the client and it is doing a simple emit so whatever we were doing using tcp it's same we in the tcp also we were doing this dot client dot emit now it is uh, rmq but still we are doing this dot client dot emit so this particular message instead of directly going to the servers directly going to the second microservice it will be sent to this RabbitMQ and there is a, another microservice server I mean the receiver side of the microservice this is listening uh, because while bootstrapping this particular microservice we have already provided that this microservice will use RMQ and these options will make it as a listener service so whenever any event is occurring so if you see this particular controller whenever there is any event is coming because this is a listener service it is listening to the rabbit mq whenever any event is occurring it is going to handle that message printed event and it is going to uh, i mean just execute it in console.log text so we are sending the hello world from the client controller so this is our rabbit mq client from here if you see we are sending hello message printed and sending the message object this client dot image will send this payload to, payload to the rabbit mq okay and then we have a listener listener is a listener microservice which will which is already listening to this particular connection string of a rabbit mq i mean the queue name is this the virtual host is this and we have already created a user so if you see the docker compose yml here we have already provided an environment so in the dot env we have we are saying okay default user is admin admin uh, local host so uh, if we just see this is our container running this is our microservice uh, which is a client this is a microservice server okay 
and we will also take a look onto the RabbitMQ console. This is our client application. This is the RabbitMQ console. Okay. Here you can create a new queue by going to the queue. I just created a user messages. This is the queue name, and you can create a simple virtual host, which is like hello is a virtual host I have created, and admin admin is the logged in user. So that is the connection string, and we are actually looking at this particular queue. So if you just take a look onto the connections, we can see there are two connections, right? And the the queues messages are also being posted. So if we just go to our container and sorry, if we just go to web browser and we'll try to reload this, this is going to hit HTTP get onto the client microservice. Okay, and this will is going to emit a message that is going to post to RabbitMQ and there is a listener service listener microservice who is going to listen to this message so here you can see we keep getting this hello world i will just reload this again just for the demo purpose so here we are actually hitting the client this message is being posted to the rabbit mq and then there is a listener so you can see the hello world is getting printed right a simple bare bone structure of uh, the nesjs microservices we haven't done much it just like Nest is out of the box supporting these kind of communications. So we don't have to write a lot of custom logic to do a connection with the RabbitMQ, write a listener, write a, write a consumer, right? So one is a consumer who is listening to the RabbitMQ and who, one is a producer who is producing these messages and writing it to the RabbitMQ queue. We, have, we, we are not doing that. We are just writing a, a microservice client which is emitting the event which has a connection to the RabbitMQ, the MQ message, I mean the message is going to the RabbitMQ and there is a microservice, so, um, another microservice which is listening to this. So this is our client and this is our main service. Okay, and it is just listening to those set of events in the controller you can see event pattern. So whenever this event is coming, it is already listening to the, the RabbitMQ. So it will just receive each and every message whenever the event received so you can see uh, nice and clean out of the box support for the microservices and most of the microservices communicate either using grpc either using this event based pattern where you are sending the event there is a rabbit mq or kafka or something and there is a listener microservice or you might be using just a simple tcp or two microservices are talking to one another on the http layer by talking using rest apis okay so this 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 is all about uh, a different set of uh, microservices and different protocols you can explore more nest.js microservice is a package which provides all these out of the box functionalities where two microservices can communicate with one another on a different uh, uh, protocols okay so uh, thanks everyone what i will do is i have created all these pocs and demos and i am showing them since uh, uh, this whole series i will post this on the github and will share this link in the description also okay uh, thanks everyone the last thing we are going to talk about is Nest.js CQRS and maybe Nest.js uh, GraphQL. So CQRS I will be covering and GraphQL we will be exploring. Uh, that is the two topic topics are left. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone.